last time on the Lombok Tour. I battled for hours against an impossible hill climb. There's just, there was no way I was going to cycle like this. Before arriving in the serenity of Sembalo. This place is pure magic. Now, I've got my eyes set on the highest points of this trip. What a view. And a downhill that may well push my bike beyond its limits. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I just don't trust my brakes. They've completely gone. Dawn in Sembalun. The village begins to stir. The sun creeps over the hills, beckoning in a new day as the people make their way out into the fields. There are few finer places to wake up to than this small town in Lombok. Good morning. Welcome to day three of my bike packing trip around Lombok. We're here in Sembalun. Beautiful sunrise as you just saw. Beautiful place. Sad to be leaving. I could spend I could I could come here and spend a week. Honestly, I really love it here. Um but that's not what this is about. We're not here for a whole day. We're here to be in pain and just have a miserable time climbing up big hills on your bike. And that's what's going to happen this morning. Today we're going from Sembalun to a place called Tanjong Loire and I'll talk about what's happening later on. It's very exciting. But first, there's one last hill climb. So I suppose I should finish this and get to it. After a quick breakfast, I was on the road again. Okay. Welcome back to another episode of Josh cycling around Lombok or as I like to call it, idiot versus hill. I slept like a baby last night as you can imagine. It was, oh, it was a deep sleep. I didn't want to wake up this morning. I was so tired. But body feels good after a long rest. I've got some lovely I've got a new pair of boxes and new pair of socks, fresh. So I don't smell quite as bad as I did yesterday. Still smell pretty bad, but not as bad. Uh, give it an hour and I'll smell just the same as yesterday. Because to start the day off, I have to climb 400 meters up this big hill to get over the top of Sembalun. Once I get over that, it is downhill all the other way. Like, I, I can't wait. It's going to be beautiful. But first, pain. Yep, pain was the name of the game this morning. Within minutes, I found myself struggling on the very first few inclines. <sighs> oh, God. I'm absolutely knackered. I'm just gonna have to take this really slow. Puffing and puffing, I, I reminded myself the lessons that I had learned from yesterday. And I haven't failed. I've just created a new sport. It's called walking up big hills with a 28 kilogram bike. It's an endurance sport. So I haven't failed. Oh man, my legs are feeling it from yesterday. The thing is, just like yesterday, there wasn't really any other way here. You know, if I wanted to reach my destination tonight, I had no choice but to suck it all up and endure. In some ways, there's a, a beautiful simplicity to that. Nothing else really matters when you're on the road like this. It's, it's just getting yourself from A to B every day. Just keep pushing. Oh, hello. Monkeys. Monkeys. You know, when you first come to Lombok, as I did as a tourist, you think it's really cool to see the monkeys. Oh, monkeys, don't get back. 
I'm gonna get them back home. But the reality is, they're horrible little fuckers. <laughs> I hate to say it, but they are. If I stop now and get any sort of food out, they'll be all over me. If I leave my bike unattended, they'll be all over it. They'll take the cameras, everything. It's just what monkeys do, I guess. But it's annoying if you want to stop for a little break and you just have to be super vigilant. With plenty of vigilant eyes on me, I pushed on and upwards, battling with steeper and steeper gradients. Oh God, these gradients, man. Killing me. Oof. I'd love to work out how many meters I've climbed by the end of this trip. I bet it's a lot. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Yes, yes. Grinding it out. All these people racing past in their bikes showing off. I've got the moral high ground. I'm not burning any fossil fuels doing this. Just my own energy. I'll take that as a win. Fired up on this clean, morally righteous energy, I finally approached the top of the mountain pass. Oof, that is a nice view. Bloody hell. You can see how far I've climbed. I'm nearly there. I can smell it. I'm pretty sure just a few more of these corners. Oh man, it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful moment when I reach the top. Shall I try and cycle? Go on. And then I can just cut this in and pretend I cycled the whole way up. Look at that piece of cake. Easy. Cycled the whole way up, smashed it. Piece of piss that. Easy, took me 20 minutes. At 1,620 meters, I had reached the high point of my trip. For a day and a half, I had battled all the way up from sea level, and it, it just felt like a real achievement. I was buzzing. What a view. Wow. Man, that is incredible. to the Pringles this morning was a good climb. I can't believe I just said it was good. It was hard work, but here I am. This is the highest I will come on this trip, thank God. 1,620 meters or something like that. Perfect time for some lunch. The views are incredible. I'm real. Let's like, get moving. On the move again. It is literally all downhill from here, which is a lovely thing to be saying. What goes up must come down is the story of today. Oh, this is going to be a huge, huge downward drop. <laughs> I'm basically dropping all the way down to sea level over the next... Well, I have no idea how long it's going to take me. Maybe an hour, two hours. Um, this is exciting for multiple reasons. I have never gone beyond this point. I've never gone to the east of Lombok before. Uh, it's just somewhere I've never explored. So this is all new ground from this point onwards. This was a part of the trip I have been looking forward to the most. When you stare at a map and it has these blank spaces on it, at least in my mind, I, I want to go and fill them in. I'd lived here for two years and it was about time I saw this other side of the island. The plan was simple. I was gonna drop down 1,600 meters from Sembalan all the way to a place called Tanjong Luwa. I am meeting a friend of a friend at the port of Tanjong Luwa. I have to be there by 3 p.m. And you'll see why. Very exciting afternoon. The climb is done. Now we enjoy I think my brakes are going to get a real workout on this. Oh! I 
was instantly mesmerized by this new side to the island, shrouded in mystery and clouds. Woo! <laughs> yes, look at this. Wow, this is stunning. This is beautiful. It was a stunning, magical descent. There was just one problem. Just stopped for a moment to give my bike a break. That was intense, man. I wasn't expecting it to be like as steep as it was. Wow. I was holding the brakes the whole time and still gathering speed. And there were one or two points where I was like, am I still in control? That was sketchy. Look at these brakes. I'm just gonna let them cool off because Jesus, they're actually boiling. I think I might need a new pair, new pair of brakes by the end of this one. Fuck, you know, that was intense, but very fun. Makes up for all the hard climbing. Come back down the other side. Remember at the top when I said, <laughs> I think my brakes are gonna get a real workout on this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, workout was an understatement. This descent quickly turned from something that was fun and enjoyable into something that was scary, actually. Palan, palan, slowly, slowly. These brakes, man. Oof. I may well have to use my feet at some point if I feel like I need the extra. Like that. <laughs> Good lord. Some of these hills were no joke. With brakes that didn't work and a fully loaded bike acting on the laws of gravity, I was reaching dangerously fast speeds with no way of stopping. Jeez, whoa, 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 whoa. You can see on my face how, how serious it became. I, I was no longer having fun, you know. I was seriously worried. I just don't want to, the last thing I want to do is fall off basically, that would be a disaster. With this much skin on tarmac, the speed I'm going and the weight of this bike, it just would not be pretty. Don't fall off Josh, do not fall off. I was pulling on both brakes so hard, like literally with everything I had and nothing was slowing down the bike. Eventually, I resorted to slamming down the sole of my shoe on the tarmac and just kind of praying that it'd give enough friction to at least make some of the turns. My ideas of racing down to the coast were quickly vanishing. And in fact, the whole trip was now in jeopardy. Can we stop? Please? Oh my god. I've been reduced to walking down the hills now. How humiliating. I just don't trust my brakes. They've completely gone. These hills are too gnarly and I really the last thing I want to do is come off like or even worse, end up going ahead and barely walk end up like going head first into oncoming traffic. Game over, you know? I had made it down from the top of Sembolun, but at what cost? I was beginning to come to terms with the fact that this trip may well be over. I couldn't carry on with my brakes not working. That would just be plain stupid, right? And there was no chance of me reaching Tanjung Luwa by 3pm. You can forget that. Don't know what to do. If they are fucked. I could see the title card slowly fading in, a premature the end. As I scanned my phone for any bike repair shops that happened to be nearby, there weren't, a good Samaritan pulled over. There's a bike shop closer? Yeah, what a bike actually, but uh, so he can, maybe uh, he, can, he can fix it. You think he can fix the bike as well? I think so. Okay, the mana? Okay, I follow you, yeah? So this guy 
says there's a sh there's a bike repair shop nearby, so uh, I'm just going to follow him, and then my my brakes are completely fucked. Pulling up to the repair shop, I was dubious. Okay, these were motorbikes. There was no chance they'd be able to fix my bike. Surely, they think they can fix it. I don't know. Okay. My new friend was a little more positive. Siapa nama? Uchok Palala. Uchok. Uchok Palala. Palala mean is a vagabondo. Wander in English. Okay. Wander in English. That is a Padang Padang language. Oh, okay. And dari di sini? Saya dari sini. Saya dari Suela. Okay. Di sini keluarga banyak. Semua keluarga. So he's led me to a shop that fixes motorbikes. Do you think maybe they can fix? Maybe they fix my bike as well. Oh yes. I hope so. <laughs> the mechanics began tinkering away, and to my surprise, they knew their way around a push bike too. You're vlogging as well. Oh yeah, you <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah. Might be English or yes, I don't even like it. Yeah. So, uh, this is about the reason yeah. Ah, yeah. Belaja pelan pelan. Belaja pelan pelan. Come here, Dubai. Learn a little bit, but. These guys are, are doing a good job from what I can tell. They are, I just got off the phone with my friends and she was like, if anyone can fix it, it's a mechanic in Lombok. And I, I think she's right. <laughs> yeah, I love that phrase. If anyone can fix it, it's a mechanic in Lombok. That is damn true. Within half an hour, I, I don't know how they did it, but somehow it worked. I think we're good. <laughs> okay, Makasi, yeah? Okay. Thank you so much for the help. Okay, you're welcome. See you. Enjoy your holidays. Thank you very much. I hope you can enjoy your uh, holidays in Lombok. Thank you, man. Samba Jumpa. Okay. Thank you. Take care and take it easy, George. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mate. Oh, look at that. Those brakes. Hi. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, it, for a mechanic, it's probably a piece of piss. It's not amazing at all, but to me, <laughs> I have working brakes again. That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, mate, I can't believe it. I was, I was beaming from here to here, as you can see. Not just because of the new brakes, but because of the kindness of these strangers. These encounters are perhaps the most important gifts travel can give you. So this is part of the adventure. This is what it's all about. I just had that good fortune of meeting that guy, Good Samaritan. He didn't have to pull over. He didn't have to help me, but he did. Took the time out of his day to do that. That is the warmth and loveliness of the people of Lombok. Seriously, man made my day. All I need to do now is get to Tanjung Luar. That's the end goal. Back on the road, I knew that if I really cycled as hard as I could, then I was still in with an outside chance of reaching Tanjung Luar. I had a boat to catch. Over the course of two hours, I threaded my way through small villages and bustling towns, weaving in and out of traffic and parades and kids on the side of the road who had apparently learned how to flip the bird. <laughs> what? Where did she learn that? What the hell? Can't be doing that. <laughs> Tanjong Luwa. I'd made it. There wasn't much going on here in the late afternoon. A couple of builders, shuttered shops, and an eerie call to prayer. The stray dog snarled and loitered. Fortunately, I barely had time to sit down before I met my contacts. All right, this is my guy, Bakila. <laughs> Goodbye bike. See you. Makasi. Alright. I'm leaving the bike there tonight. 
She's got a few squeaks and bumps and things she didn't have before the start of the day. What a day! The adventure's only just beginning. Pak Ila is now taking me to a little island called Gili Bembek. And I'm gonna stay there by myself. This was the exciting thing that I'd been looking forward to the whole trip. The thing that had pushed me up, over and down from Zembalun to make sure that I made it here on time. Leaving the mainland behind, we headed out east, Akila guiding at the front, grinning from ear to ear, and his son Andre driving the boat at the back. This was Gilly Benbeck, a small, deserted island that was my home for tonight. Home for the night. Again, I was completely humbled by the kindness of Pak Ila and his son Andre, who just sought me out. They provided me with everything I needed. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. After a hard day on the bike, like there, there's just no greater gift than food, you know. I couldn't get enough of it. We've got uh, some lovely <laughs> spicy beans. Not really sure what they are, but they're spicy. And then there's some squid curry, which is delicious. And some dried squid with a bit of nasi. What more can you want, mate? So good. Oh yeah, crackers as well. Filling up on the crackers. Because I'm cream crackered. Mate, nothing but good people today. Beautiful people who've helped me. The guy who, he didn't have to stop. Like, he just pulled over and spoke some English and just classic Good Samaritan tale. He just asked, like, he insisted on helping. But he didn't have to. <laughs> At that point, I, I thought my brakes were really knackered. Like, I, I was, I didn't know what to do. I was like, I can't go downhill anymore without walking. If I walk, there's no chance of catching Pak Ila and coming here. And then all my plans were in disarray and I was like, am I gonna have to go back home to get the bike fixed? What a mad day. So much drama. And then Pak Ila. <laughs> I like rocked up to Tangri Lawal, like absolutely fucked. And like, it was a bit dead. It was like closed shops and like just a building site. And I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> And he came out of nowhere, and here we are. Wow. What a day. It's never a dull moment on this trip. Makasiya. Sampai jumpa besok pagi. Okay. They're heading back to Marinkit Island over there. That's where those guys live. They're not far away. All right, I really am <laughs> just here on this island by myself now. I've always wanted to do this, like stay on uh, a little island for the night, just by yourself. Here I am. Uh, I figured the first thing anyone does when they're staying on a deserted tropical island is go for a swim. The sun's just setting. It's beautiful, man. Absolutely stunning.
very, very special moment. Having one of those how did I end up here moments. Very cool. I've always wanted to do this. I always wanted to stay on a deserted island by myself. <laughs> Pretty cool how it all works out. So Sophie, who is a family friend of Layla's, um, her and her husband own this little island. As you can see, there's a few tiny little outbuildings. And at some point in the future, they are gonna develop it into some sort of place to stay. But for now, it's just me and my tent, which I do need to pitch. One of the best tents you'll ever see, that. Let's get in. Oh, yes. Oh, this is cosy. Very cosy. <laughs> Behind me. I am proper, proper sweating in here. Didn't think that one through, did I? Anyway, in here, I've got a lovely little light that Ila hooked me up with because he's a legend. Thank you for that. I've got a sleeping bag. I've just pumped up my air mattress. And then just, you know, jammy dodges. The book I'm reading at the moment. Drone. Just all the expensive stuff that if the fish grew legs overnight and decided to come and take my stuff, they wouldn't get this. And pen knife, just in case the fish do grow legs and try and mug me. That's it. I'm sorted. Apart from sweating a lot, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> nah. No way. Change your plan. It's too hot in there. Fucking hell. Do you see my jersey back there? I absolutely shot myself before. <laughs> like, you know when you do a double take because you think it's a person? Terrible decision of me to leave it up there. <sighs> anyway. There goes that plan out the window, sleeping in this brand new tent that I was very excited to use. I'm now just, just going to sleep out here. Absolutely knackered. I knew, I knew this trip would be hard. Like I was anticipating that. I wasn't like, oh, it's a piece of cake. I'm not sure I was prepared for it to be this hard or this full on. It's, it's definitely been a challenge. I can feel my body. Yeah, I'm about halfway now. It's mad how far I've come already, to be fair. Pretty happy, pretty proud, but there's still a long way to go. Next time, I wake up in paradise. What a way to start the morning. Explore forgotten corners of the island. Quite incredible that this thing is still here. Eat two ice creams. Oh my God, I just need energy. I wouldn't be buying this otherwise. An attempt to make it to Kuta. I make no apologies for what you're watching. I just need to free the nipple right now. Well, I suppose this is good night. Thank you for taking the time to watch and coming along for the adventure. It's been quite a day, again. Not been one day where it's just been like super chill and relaxed. But mine one of those. We go again tomorrow, day four. I'll see you in the morning. Good night.